It's time for another Ike Sports. Wait, where's Denton? Mitch, go get Denton. Trey, you gotta try those cookies, man. They're so good. Sit down, the guys shop. Hello, and welcome to the fourth edition of Ike Sports. I'm Trey Trudeau. And I'm Denton Russell. Now, for this edition of Ike Sports, we got a hold of a few former and current EHS athletes that are or will be competing in college. We'll also give you a quick peek at the spring sports teams. But let's talk about college first. Ah, I got a cookie on my mouth. Even though Eisenhower has only been around for four years, we have still had many athletes go on to the next level in college. As you can expect, the athletes are very excited about this opportunity. Um, it's really exciting. Um, excited to go, excited to be there, excited to graduate high school, and uh, it's just all the hard work's finally paid off. It's uh, pretty cool to be able to have that dream come true and feel like you have hard work that paid off and, and you feel like you dedicated a large portion of your adolescence and childhood to something that's nice to see uh, it kind of pay off for you. Feels pretty good. Feels like I'm accomplishing something with my life and meeting my goals. Uh, it feels pretty good knowing that all my hard work is going to pay off. You know, I've put four years in, or more, four years in high school, but I started in fifth grade. But up until now, I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to play. But you know, it feels pretty good. The athletes must deal with the differences between high school sports and college sports. Um, some differences, I'd say, it'd be a lot more competitive. Like some of the girls actually want to be there. They want to do it for a living. In high school, it just they just come out and play? Uh, the constant grind they have to do every day, the practice every day, and you never get a day off. Um, obviously, the talent levels unbelievably uh, different. College, you know, you got one or two good, really, really good players on the high school team. You got 25 in college. I mean, the talent level is different. Um, also, you know, college, being a college athlete, full time job, I mean, you're from about 5.30 in the morning to about 8 o'clock at night. I have something to do with baseball or school. Um, the free time's left. The, uh, the linemen will be a lot bigger, and so the running backs, everyone's just going to be a lot bigger. So um, the coaches are going to be a lot harder. The weightlifting program's a lot stricter and stuff like that. But I don't think it'll be too bad. Many student athletes at our school look up to these athletes that are going to college. Um, I really do try to influence other players, try to set a good example. Um, sometimes, yeah, I don't know if it pays off, but I think in the end, um, hopefully I'll leave a legacy that the other outfielders and other players will be able to follow. Uh, I feel like I did because um, my hard work, my passion for every game, and I always play every game like it's my last. Uh, I would, you know, I would hope so. Uh, you know, if, if one thing I wish I could have had was uh, the opportunity to play college I feel like I do because they know that I know what it takes to get to the next level so I can help them out if they need any help. The athletes have had to go through a lot of work and give a lot of effort to get to the position that they are in now. Um, I've been playing since I was in third grade, uh, so I've been playing it year round now for the past couple of years or so, just practicing all the time. Uh, it takes a lot of work to get known to spy colleges and things like that. you got to put in a lot of work in the weight room and on the field, a practice, you got to go 100% all the time, things like that but it all pays off in the end. A lot of work on my part, but at the same time, it's a lot of work on my parents' part, you know, getting me to the games, getting me to the tournaments, getting me to, you know, paying for the lessons. So I think it's just as hard on me as it is on them. So uh, I think, you know, you really find out if you want to do it or not, you know, once you get to college. It takes a lot of work, um, a lot of dedication, uh, and just work hard every time you get a chance. Um, it took quite a bit. I wasn't good freshman year, and then I put in a lot of work, and. It just paid off afterwards. These athletes have some advice for athletes at Eisenhower who also have the dream of playing sports in college. I would tell them uh, to keep working, don't make excuses, uh, work hard every single day that you have. It's an opportunity to get better. Um, I know I sat out a couple practices and it sucks, so take all the uh, words of wisdom coaches give you and just work hard. Um, keep your grades up, but keep practicing your sport as well. Make sure your academics are good, be involved with things, and have a positive attitude. I just tell kids to not listen to anybody that doubts them or tell them that they can't. Just work as hard as you can and figure out 
figure out what you want to do and basically work to go get it. Don't let anybody stop you. Just go 100% during practice. Give all you give all you have during games and things like that. Just give it your all and you'll get noticed. That's what I had to do. Uh, keep working hard. Um, if you want it and you want it bad enough, you'll get it. These athletes don't just have a big impact on other student athletes. They have a big impact on their coaches as well. Uh, it's always awesome, you know, to know kids, uh, you know, have have set the bar. I mean, uh, hi, I knew that she wanted to to pursue that when she uh, started playing for me. Oh, it's good. It's rewarding. You know, I mean, those guys have worked very hard. Obviously, it's a testament to their work ethic and where we are as a program. We're starting to get more and more guys into the next level. You know, it feels good. You know, I, it's good to see kids. It's hard work pay off. Um, you know, a lot of our kids who are playing at the next level work the tail off during the off season because, you know, that's really where players are made. You know, we work on a lot of team stuff, but to work on your individual stuff, you have to do it in the summertime. And, you know, it's good to see kids' hard work pay off. It's been a great opportunity to coach each of the players that are going to college. They each work really hard, and I am proud of all of what each of them have accomplished. That was so awesome, wasn't it, Denton? Not as much as you, Trey. All right, well, I think we should move on to our next story. All right, so the school year is beginning to wind down at the beginning of the spring sports here at EHS. Baseball is coming into this season with high hopes after last year's successful season. They finished with a record of 19-4 overall, and they were 10-2 in league. They made it to state, but lost in the first round of Blue Valley Southwest, 5-0. Braden Monner also won the Gatorade State Baseball Player of the Year. They are looking to have a successful season again this year. Softball finished with a record of 10-11 last year. Bryn Miner threw two no-hitters last year against Salina Central and Newton. Coach Gulick told us that they are a lot younger and faster this year, but must be more focused and more aggressive on the base path. Track also had a successful season last year as they had quite a few people qualify for state and also had many school records broken as well. They are looking to have another great season this year. Boys golf finished last year tied for third in the league and had Riley Kane place eighth individually. They'll look to improve this season. Evan Manning became the new boys tennis head coach this year after last year's season. The tennis team will look to improve this year with a new head coach. Girls soccer had a great season last year with the final record of 13-5-1. They also finished the year as league and regional champions. Many players also received first team, second team, and honorable mention all ABCTL Division II honors at their positions. They're looking to finish even better this year. Well, that's all we have for this episode, folks. Remember, check out our Twitter page and tell us what you like and dislike about the show. Our handle is at Ike Sports News. Signing off, I'm Trey Trudeau. Wait, Trey, there's one more thing. What? No. No.